All right, disclaimer, this video was filmed on July 26th. Today's date is August 6th. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and have a great rest of your day. All right, hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today's video is the second video in my back to school series video videos. Uh, so today I am showing you what I have now utilized on my iPad so I know when to submit my availability for the fallout for work i know what days i have classes so i'm gonna show all you. right so i just have my ipad air fourth the fourth generation um i uh just got this not that long ago and i'm going to be utilizing it for school as well so i am going to show you in the so in the calendar app um oops I have utilized the calendar and so then I know okay so on this day I'm available all day and this day I'm available all day and then these two days I'm available after class uh classes until like nine eight or nine and then these two days I know I'm not available and then these two days I'm available after um available all day and then the 19th and the 12th I'm available after church um and then I just have some like birthdays in there of like close friends um and this and that and then I also have it turned over into October as well um and then on Wednesday nights I have bell choir at church and then um so that I know like a when I go this and that and then obviously my birthday's in there in November and then my classes end I want to say this week here because Christmas is my classes always end like the week before so then I know this whole entire week I will have finals so, so I want to say for ooh for my psychology class and my speech class review is going to be on the 8th um towards the end of class I think but I don't know because I will have to see when I get my syllabus for that but yeah, so definitely utilize the calendar app either on your iPad, your MacBook, or on your iPhone, or your other or your device, other devices as well, so that you aren't scrambling to um, know what you're trying to figure out what your availability is this, like the week before. So like if your availability is due at 8 a.m and the 13th for the week for and i'm just going to use my work schedule for as an example the 20th through the 26th if it's due the 13th do not do it at 7 30 on the 13th you want to do it at least on the 9th thursday not thursday september 9th i like either while you're at school or you talking to your manager, depending on how you submit your availability. So if you know you have an appointment on the 24th at 9.30, you know that you can't be available until, that you have an appointment at 9.30, you need to request off that for the morning, and then you can be available at night, at like 12.30, or however long your appointment takes you. And then you just sit, do that to your, you just submit that to your manager. This is also good for high school students who need to have multiple days off. Um, per se, you work Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then you're available all weekend. So that's another tip trick um, that I am going to be utilizing this coming semester as well. So I hope it goes, this semester goes a lot better. And then also I'll probably putting, be putting my due dates in there. Um, as you guys seen in the last video, I do have a planner. We're utilizing that a lot. Um, so yeah.
definitely check that out. Check out the calendar app and try utilizing it for the first week or so and then definitely come back to this video and comment down below or in another future vlog if it helps out for you i would really like to know and have your feedback on it um this is just my opinion and hope you guys enjoy